private equity firm, Bain Capital. The latest is former Pennsylvania Governor Ed Rendell. So how will this affect the president's re-election campaign? We're joined now by Fox News contributor and author of the new book, Hopelessly Divided, The New Crisis in American Politics, Democrat pollster Doug Schoen. Good to see you this morning. Good to Doug. see you, Gretchen. All right, so Cory Booker comes out, and many people believe, honestly says what he thinks, yep. uh, that it's nauseating, these yep. kinds of attacks. And then he, in the same day, went in the reverse. What happened? Well, I believe the White House got to him and said, Mayor Booker, if you want to work with us and you want our support going forward for higher office, you've got to walk back your comments. He did a video walking back his comments, not entirely, but pretty substantially. But why does a politician in this day and age, in 2012, feel the need to do that? So he disagrees with one tenant of the campaign strategy for, the, for Obama. Well, we are polarized, but more than polarized, the White House can say, look, if you want to work with us, you have to be on our political program. And Mayor Booker, who needs White House support, Newark's an impoverished City, bottom line, I think, was made clear that he had to toe the line or suffer the consequences. But you've just written a book about how polarized we are right, right. now and how divided. Is right. this an example of that, where you can't even go out on a limb at all and still be held tight in the party? Gretchen, it absolutely is a case of that, because Mayor Booker was saying something that I think is right, which is private equity is part of capitalism. It's how we grow the economy, grow jobs, and create profits. Bottom line, he was told unless he hewed to a class warfare line, which is the White House approach, he would suffer the consequences. So the president clarified his thoughts the other day during a press conference. He said, look, this is not a distraction. This is what we're going to do moving forward. With more and more Democrats now coming out against that strategy, do you expect their campaign to morph into something different from these attacks or stick to it? Well, I think they're going to stick to it. I think it's part of a larger narrative about class warfare and redistribution. I think they're going to stick to that, higher taxes on the rich. But I don't think they're walking away from their view that private equity in a lot of instances represents vampire capitalism. But isn't it about business in general? Mitch McConnell yesterday made the argument that this is about success in the American dream. Is it not the motivation of every business to maximize profits? Gretchen, every business needs to maximize profits, create jobs, and try to grow an economy. We're a capitalist country. We're proud of it. That's not Democratic or Republican. That's the American way. And I think to attack it the way the Obama administration is doing is just plain wrong. All right. So we add uh, Doug Schoen, apparently, to the you list do. of Democrats yeah. who are against this type of strategy. Absolutely. All right.